guys. Welcome back to the Sarah K. Nitz podcast. Um, I want to apologize right off the bat if this side of my face looks a little funny or if I'm talking strangely. I just went to the dentist, um, so my entire right half of my face is numb, and I've been waiting for it to wear off, and it's just not wearing off, so I was figured I'd go ahead and film anyways. Um, first up, I had to pick a new winner for the affordable sock yarn giveaway. Um, the first winner that I picked didn't get back to me, and I, I tried to reach out to them on YouTube comments, and I didn't hear anything. So Susan Smith, if you could email me your mailing information at sarahknits at gmail.com, I will get that out in the mail to you. All right, let's just jump right in with finished objects. Um, two dishcloths. I don't know if you remember, but I talked about wanting to do at least three dishcloths a month or 36 total at least for the year. So I finished two. I've started a third knit dishcloth and I have, I'm pointing at it because you can totally see that. Um, I have about half of a crochet dishcloth done over at my computer desk. So I should be able to get three done before the end of January. I don't think I'll have all four, but three was my goal. So these are the Grandma's Favorite Dishcloth by PJ Allen um, without the holes. And I knit these on size eight signature needles. I'm gonna snip that end. So those are done, those will be Christmas gifts. Um, I think this was Bernat dishcloth, dishcloth yarn. I have no idea where it came from. I just found it in my stash. Um, next finished object I completed in a weekend. This is a beanie that I test knit for my friend Henry. I think in the end it ended up being called the I Heart You Beanie. When I made it, it didn't have a name yet. And the finished pattern has instructions for duplicate stitching hearts on it but I did not do that. I just test, um, test knit the pattern. So I made this out of some of my Cascade alpaca that I keep back there that I got for Christmas. And that is worsted weight. And this was a light bulky weight pattern. So I held it double with um, some fingering weight yarn from Dragon Horde yarn, some scraps I had. And I think it came out really well. I knit this on size nine, my Chow Goo interchangeables. This will be a Christmas gift as well. Um, this is the, the non-slouchy version. So there's no slouch in it. But that was a quick, easy knit. This is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, I'll try to remember to link it down below if you're interested. And then my last finished object is a big one. I finished the baby blanket that I had started last time. You can see that progress keeper, that was where I was. So I knit all of that. And this is the sunny baby blanket is the name and it's a free pattern as well. So I think it's a pretty good sized baby blanket. Um, that is for my cousin and his wife who are expecting their first baby. So that is done. Baby's not due till June, but I'm glad to get that finished. Um, only going to show two finished objects today. I have some dishcloths going, scrappy projects, and, um, my cardigan, my sweater. I've worked on it a little bit, but not much. It's really kind of hibernating right now. I've kind of figured out that I really like to have dishcloths and socks and I don't really want more than one non socks or dishcloth project going at a time. So right now I've been working on my shawl, which I'll show you first. I did not mark where I was last time and I actually think I had to rip it all the way back out to the beginning. This is the Radiata shawl and I'm knitting this with Malabrigo singles. Um, fingering weight yarn in the Ursula colorway. I don't know how well you'll really be able to tell, but it's gorgeous lace. And this is going to be absolutely massive, so it's going to take me forever. And if you can see that white line here, that is a lifeline. So I'm putting a lifeline in every few rows 
so that when I inevitably make a mistake on the lace and my counts aren't right, I don't have to rip the whole thing out because it's really hard to pick up when you're working in lace. So I'll just rip out to the lifeline, pick the stitches back up and start from that point in the pattern. It's gonna be really, really pretty. It's gonna take a long time. I've been trying to work on it at least a half an hour a day. Some days that happens and some days it doesn't. I'm gonna mark where I am so I can show you guys next time. So gonna be a long-term one. And then my last whip is a pair of socks that I had started the last time I podcast. I showed you. And it is with some mystery yarn that I lost the label for. But I finished one. I knit these on Chowgu Magic Loop size, size one. And I did 60 stitches. But I did the heel flap instructions for a 64 stitch. So the heel flap is as long as a regular size medium heel flap. And I decided, I think I did 20 rounds of knit one purl one ribbing for the cuff and I did a 70 row leg, which is longer than I usually do, but I was just feeling it. So there's that. And then here is where I am on the second one, about halfway done with the leg. Um, I'll have these finished before the end of this weekend, no problem, because of work. I can work on them while I'm on the phone or in between calls. And then I have plans to start my first pattern, start testing it out with this yarn. Um, this is Breaking Yarn, Breaking Violet, I think. Breaking Violet, yes. Um, I'm not sure if the idea I have will look better with a variegated or with a tonal, so I'm gonna try it starting with that. And then I ordered some more yarn from Breaking Yarn and some tonals to try. I'll probably knit it up both ways before I write up the pattern. And that brings us to acquisitions. First, I made an order from Knit Picks. They were having a sale on some things. I ordered just a purple and silver notions pouch because a couple of my notions pouches were like zipper bags from the Dollar Tree and they're starting to fall apart so I want to replace them. And then I got this big old interchangeable needle book in rose gold. Um, my Chowgu interchangeables, they have their own zipper compartment thing. I don't have them here to show you, but that they come in. But as I'm filling it out and adding more extra needles and cables, I wanted something bigger and with more space. So this comes with uh, zipper compartments on either end page. And then it has, it's going to be hard to see because it's black, but it has a page front and back that have spots for interchangeable needles. This one I think is for double points, but I'm going to put more interchangeable needles in there. Then there are two black zipper pouches. One is split into two compartments and one is just one big one. And then there's two clear pouches with two and then a big one. So you can also actually buy extra pages um, if you run out. So if you have a ton of needles and you want more of the little needle slot pages, you can buy a set of like two extra ones, I think but um, the pouches will be good for, right now I have my small cables and my large cables. Um, so the small ones go to the smaller needles and the large ones to the larger needles. They're all together. So when I pull them out, I have to really look and figure out which one is which, or I end up trying to screw needles in that don't fit. So we'll be able to separate those, um, which is nice and it's pretty. And then also from Knit Picks, because I clearly don't have enough cotton yarn, <laughs> I got two more um, of Dishy Multi, which is their worsted weight, 100% cotton. This is the colorway Berry Basket. And this is Herb Garden. So those will go back there and I'll get to them at some point. I have a lot of cotton to get through, but I'm hoping to get through most of it this year. 
Um, and then, like I said, from Breaking Yarn, she had a shop update for her experiments section, which is where she posts yarn that's not like her regular colorways. It's just um, stuff she's played around with. Maybe will be a regular colorway in the future. Um, who knows? So this first one is fuchsia pink, one of a kind. It's on her quarter round fingering, which is 100% merino wool. I might test my pattern in this. I'm not sure yet. Probably this one. It's a little variegated, but not as much. And this is a one of a kind sock set in her sock fingering, which is 75-25. So this pretty blue with just a little bit of variegation and the mini. So that's pretty much it. I'm doing pretty good for my kind of knitting budget for the year where I want to put more out than I'm bringing in. So those I count as four skeins because I don't count the minis. And I think I've officially used up or used for projects and just have scraps left six skeins of yarn so far. So I am using more than I'm buying. I have bought a couple of more skeins for prizes for the sock along I'm doing in my Facebook group, but I'm not gonna show them and those aren't gonna count because they're gonna be going right out the door. So my Facebook group, Sock Knitting Addicts, I'll link it down below. I'm doing a, the Lovin' Knit Sock Along, which runs until Valentine's Day. You can enter pretty much any pair of socks that you want. It has to have a love theme, but you can make them as a gift for somebody, even a gift for yourself. The pink yarn, the pattern, pretty much anything will count. And the only rules are you have to have started but after January 12th and finish before or on Valentine's Day and post a photo of your finished pair of socks in the finished objects thread in my group and I will pick some prizes. So Slip Slip Sis, who I test knitted a pair of socks for a while back, they have donated three sock patterns for the knit along. And then I am gonna do two prize packs with two skeins of yarn and some notions each. So there'll be five prizes. So I would love it if you would hop on over there, join the group um, and join the knit along. I think that's it. So Susan Smith, that's what I said, right? Yeah, if you could email me at sarahknits at gmail.com so I can get that prize out to you. Um, if I don't hear back from you by the time I film the next episode in a couple of weeks, I will pick another winner. And then if I don't hear back from that person, it will just become a sixth prize for my knit along. Um, I think that's all I have for you today. And again, I'm sorry if I sounded or looked funny. I just wanted to film when I felt like filming or else it wouldn't get done for another week. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.